Crutch Tramway Museum. Yeah. So, as the title says, it's uh, trams, you can ride the trams, and they've got a couple of old buildings. Yeah, it's um, working buildings, though, I think. Yeah, it's bigger so. shops and things, and yeah. the forge and stuff. Yeah, so let's yeah. have a look, see what it's about, see if it was worth a stop. Yeah, not too crowded, so. This is the Oak Island, remember these old pubs? Been Swansea and Norma Tyler and everything. What they have you? Yeah. Tea, latte. Tea, coffee, pops. So you got the pub and they got tea rooms. <laughs> Shmoo milkshakes. Shmoo. 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 Banana. Warning, any person burning or destroying waste paper is guilty of an offence against the national war effort. Every scrap is needed for essential national requirements. Battleship brand unsweetened evaporated milk. The victory, victory roll. Patriotic toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Flu nips. Flu nips. Prevention is better than cure. Oh, flu easy. nips. Nip the flu before the flu nips you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet they worked. Yeah, I bet they did. There's an exhibition hall on the bottom end here. And the old TARDIS over there. So the assembly room's Derby, 1765 to 1974. Presented and re-erected by the Corporation of Derby. June 9th, 1976, it was unveiled. Yeah, it's a small exhibition on... Uh, oh, that's all good. Small uh, exhibition on history of tramways and... How they're making a bit of a comeback in some cities. Which one do you want to go on? I don't mind. Which one do you want to go? I don't mind. This is cool. Yeah, take inside. Look inside of this. This is awesome. So we're taking the upstairs on this particular tram, so... This is so cool. <laughs> It's forbidden by order. So, see these seats. So you can, so you can sit uh, opposite each other. You can get up if you want to do the wooden walk. All right. And then we carry on to Victoria Park, the play area, and then the terminus. The tram you're riding on comes from Leeds, built 1925. Quite modern for its day because it's had air brake fitted to it. That's why you can hear the compressor ticking overnight. The need is on the hilly route. Um, I love the price of this, the trams have been open top as well. So that was different. It, it, it's ended up in Leeds as a store tram. We just kept spare parts in it. We acquired it back in 1959 when Leeds trams closed. Brought it here and eventually through one of our many funds that we've got, we used money to restore it back to its original 1920s condition. So here you are. When we get off, you go up at the back end, I shall open that door, and that's the back of the tram then. Okay?
another tram. They got a crew running, are they? So they got at least four trams running today at the moment, and they've got they've got a lot more. Yeah, a lot more in the sheds there. So we're going to have a little we're going to have a little shifty around them now. It's a German one, that one. Krankenhaus. Krankenhaus. So down these steep steps. Look at these, look at these steps. Yeah, they so tight, these steps. Let the neck. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the building on top of the hill there. Oh, we saw that, didn't we? Yeah, the Sherwood Foresters War Memorial. The hill may have been part of the beacon chain used in 1588 to warn of the approaching Spanish Armada. Doncaster Corporation Tramways Electric Car Shed erected in 1902. That's a cool one. Where was that one from? Oh, that's Blackpool as well, is it? true toast track ever built. Yeah. <laughs> Sheffield's last tram. Oh, Portuguese. Portuguese. Yeah, Portuguese tram. Yeah, the this, this staircase outside, yeah, that's cool, yeah. isn't it? That's cool. Glasgow. And this one was in Brussels. Bishop Briggs, I think that's, I think that's Glasgow as well, Bishop Briggs. Prague. Jim can't uh, get on them as they as they are stationary. Nice if we could get on them and have a look around in the back pool, just for the space issue they had to be. But the, the stairways on all of them are really, really narrow and steep. Yeah, so they're swapping them out for the right through the day. Chesterfield Corporation tramways this one. So now everybody wanted the prime seat no doubt at the front. So it's another indoor exhibition this one. Ah, very cool. That's an old one. It's a horse drawn one. Horse drawn one. Horse, yeah and they've left it. As they found it. It was in the service from 1881 to 1905. Seated on the top. Somebody using one year. There's a static caravan, look. Oh, yeah. Roof seated. In use as a shed in an orchard. Yeah. They're great, uh, great models they've got going on the side of this exhibit. Obviously, they're not as impressive as the real thing, obviously. But this one looks like an old single decker bus at the back there. Can you go on that one? Can you? Well, we got uh, padded uh, material chairs rather than the wooden chairs. Please don't sit on me, I'm old and damaged. And we all. So that's the 
Pleasure Beach Promenade, Blackpool tram is the one you can go and sit in. 1920 is the beginning of the end. Oh, go, go further back in time as we go round, don't we? <laughs> No, I don't suppose. Yeah, it goes back to the 1880s and... Top the stairs and there's a children's woodland play area up here. Cool. And you'll go across the bridge. Bowes Lion Bridge. Opened in 1988. This bridge was erected by members of the Tramway Museum Society assisted by a Manpower Services Commission workforce. The ironwork was cast in 1844 and installed at the Bowes Lion Estate, Stage and Stagenhoe Park, where Hartridgeshire, who donated it to the museum in 1971, through the band stand in the park. And the memorial on top of the hill. So I'm waiting for somebody to ring her. So the, the trams only go one way from the end down there in the little in the little town set up. And they just travel one way up the track. Up the other side there. Up beyond up beyond the hill there. And you can get off halfway down then and take a woodland walk which comes out over here by the Children's Park. Well worth a visit. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed to go on the trams as often as you like. And again, it's uh, £19.1950, I think, for entry. But that gives you a, a year's pass so you can come back as often as you like. So who knows? We may be back. Mm -hmm.